two-digit subtraction strategies. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Today we are going to learn how to solve a two-digit subtraction equation using three different strategies. We will use base 10, expanded form, and number line. First, we will start with base 10. Let's look at the equation 46 minus 27. Step one in a subtraction equation is you only draw the greater number. So in this equation, we're going to draw 46 using four tens and six ones. Step two, always start subtracting with the ones. Ask yourself, can I take away the ones without regrouping? If yes, subtract your ones. If no, you will have to trade a 10 for 10 ones and then subtract. In this equation, we have six ones. If you look at the number 27, we have to subtract seven ones. We cannot do that, so we're going to have to regroup 110 for 10 ones. I'm going to circle a 10, draw my arrow, scoot it over to the ones, and draw my 10 ones. Then I'm going to go back and cross out that 10 because it's not there anymore. It is now 10 ones. Now we have enough to subtract 7 ones, so let's go ahead and cross out 7 ones. Step three, subtract your tens, then count all your ones and tens to find your answer. In this equation, we have to take away two tens, so we'll cross out two tens and then see what we have left. We have one 10 left and nine ones, so that makes our answer 19. Let's try solving the same equation using expanded form. Step one is write both numbers in expanded form. So we will write 46 as 40 plus 6, and we will write 27 as 20 plus 7. Step 2 is always start subtracting with the 1s, then the 10s. If you cannot subtract the 1s, you need to regroup. In this equation, we have to take away 7 1s from 6 1s, and we cannot do that. So we're going to have to regroup. The way you regroup in expanded form is you're going to cross out the value of the 10s, so 40 will become 30 because you're going to take one 10 and trade it for 10 ones. So then the 10 gets added to the six ones and six becomes 16. Now we can do our subtraction. 16 minus seven equals nine. Then we'll put our little plus sign because our answer is an expanded form. 30 minus 20 equals 10. Step three is stack your expanded form answer on top of each other and then add starting in the ones column, then the tens. So we're going to put 10 plus nine, zero plus nine equals nine, and one plus nothing equals one. So again, we got the answer 19. Two different strategies, same answer. Next, we'll solve the same equation using number line. We have to draw our open number line and then start at the end all the way at the right side because we're subtracting, so we're going backwards. We're going to start at the number 46. With the number line strategy, you don't have to start subtracting in the ones. So we're going to start subtracting with the tens. 46 minus 20 equals 26. And then we have to take away our ones. 26 minus seven equals 19. So for the third time using three different strategies, we get the same answer, 19. Last, we're going to solve the same exact equation using the number line, but adding up to subtract. If you know what a fact family is, you know that 46 minus 27 equals question mark can also be written as an addition equation, which is 27 plus question mark equals 46. To solve this related addition equation, we draw our open number line and start on the left side, the beginning of the number line, since we'll be adding up. We will start at the number 27. We don't know how much we have to add, but we do know that we want to get to the number 46. So we're going to add three to get to a nice clean 10. 27 plus three equals 30. Next, we'll add 10 to bring us to 40, and then we will add six more to bring us to 46. The way you find out your missing add end is you add the total of the jumps. So three plus 10 plus six equals 19. Again, we get that same answer 19 using four different strategies. I hope this video helps you with all of your two digit subtraction adventures. Come back and watch it anytime you need a quick review. Visit my channel to find two digit addition strategies and so much more.
Thank you for watching.